Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Ex spoiled kids, what was your reality checks? Father died and gave his inheritance to his 25 year GF. Oof, your only option is to date your dad's GF. When I mistreated someone I cared about and they actually followed through with cutting me out of their life, putting up boundaries with someone is oftentimes a favor to them. Tell that to the guy from the cask of Amontillado. Joining the workforce. Very first day of my first job I was like, oh shit, this is what everyone was complaining about. Quote, at least you realized quickly. I can't tell you how many people we had come into the pub I worked at who seemed to think they were being paid just to grace us with their presence. A few had their parents come in to talk to us and most were self-important pricks. One of them was legit to be fair. The manager had been awful to this poor 16 years old. But, the one who told me that I had to, go easy on her. She's the baby of the family, was so bloody infuriating. How dare I ask her to serve a customer instead of talking to her friend on a very busy Saturday. Frickin' night, ugh. But, the one who told me that I had to, go easy on her. She's the baby of the family, was so bloody infuriating. Man, when kids enter the real world and it's a massive shock to discover nobody cares about your feelings, it's a little rough even if you were expecting it. But a parent who doesn't understand their baby is only special to them is beyond help. My mom got seriously ill in cancer and ended up in the ICU for five months. I had to get my shit together real quick now that she couldn't fix my messes anymore. I'm really sorry about your mom. Thank you. It made me a better person, but it's so fucked up that it had to come at such a high price. I was late to the game when it came to applying for colleges my senior year of high school. So when I accepted to go to a school eight hours away from my hometown, I had missed the deadline to apply for a dorm or nearby apartment. I ended up living in a house four miles away from campus with no car. And with the nearest bus stop being a 30-minute walk through tall grass next to a busy street with no sidewalks. I missed my bus the very first day of class and started sobbing. I called my mom and she empathized, but there was nothing she could do. That was the day I realized I had to start figuring things out on own and life would no longer be easy. I had a roommate that made a similar poor living choice. We lived in a isolated subdivision outside of town, only thing around was a collage campus. She didn't realize her program was at a different campus location and the earliest bus would get her there two hours late every day. Could understand if we lived near the main campus and she never knew it had multiple locations. But we were near one of those smaller locations and there was nothing else around. By the grace of a higher power she had a classmate who happened to live next door and offered her a ride all year. However that save made her not be grateful and she would complain that her classmate asked for driving money, since she's going anyway. She then complained all year there was nothing to do, party, shop, buy groceries from. I am the second child who got everything he wanted. My sister was the one to compromise everything for me. I wanted new phone, I got it. I wanted a new computer, I got that too. Basically everything I wanted I got it while my sister was still using her old stuff. Now comes the part where at some point I realized this is wrong. When I go over memories of me getting the stuff I wanted my sister's eyes pop up. And they look sad man. I ruined her childhood. I just want to roll into a ball and cry. Not for me but for her. I was a horrible brother we fought a lot and everything had to go my way. We are grown ups now and every now and then when I look at her I feel shame. She has a beautiful family and is doing financially light years better than me. I'm so happy that she's getting everything she wants but I know I will never get rid of the shame of what a spoiled kid I was. Talk to your sister. You were a child and frankly, kids are immature. Apologize and express that you feel remorse for how you treated her. And that you are happy she has seen so much success. You definitely have an opportunity to fix your relationship. Our relationship is amazing right now. There's so much respect between us. Even if I bring everything up it would just be awkward for both of us. It's just how I feel. When I discovered things like electricity and water come with monthly bills. That hit me when I got to college and did off-campus apt living with some friends. I had zero understanding that I had to pay for water. You can imagine my confusion even more when I had to put in $1.25 for the washing machines every week. First thought I had was, who tf carries around loose change? Quote, now I have a little coin separator thingy in my car at all times and keep about $5 of loose change. In it just in case. I had zero understanding of bills, full stop. I'd never paid any before because nothing had ever been my responsibility. I also came to the US from the UK, so there was a complete WTF moment when I discovered the concept of health insurance premium. Of course, once I figured him out, then I was appalled at the cost. When I look at today's utility bills I kinda wish I could go back and be appalled all over again. Because the prices which made my jaw drop at 19 would be cause for celebration today. Seeing my friends and in-laws struggle to afford extracurriculars for their kids. 
Growing up in a high-income area, everyone I knew, myself and my siblings included, participated in activities like Girl Scouts, dance, gymnastics, soccer, softball, etc. There was never any question of affordability and uniforms and gear were always purchased brand new. Now I see parents in my age group, early 30s, only being able to afford one, maybe two extracurricular activities per year. Girl Scouts, gymnastics, and clubs like the YMCA are too expensive. Dance classes for my niece were gifted as a birthday present and leotards were purchased used from thrift stores. She can't do gymnastics because it's way too expensive. Definitely made me feel privileged and somewhat ashamed at how I took those opportunities for granted. My partner and his siblings never did anything outside of the included school activities due to their family being tight on money growing up. His siblings with kids want to give their kids more than they had, but it's so expensive. I still don't understand how my parents afforded me and my sister doing extracurricular activities. I played soccer year-round and my sister danced. That wasn't cheap. I just can't afford it ATM. So we just play outside. I don't know what my parents paid for tuition to one of the best ballet schools in the state and I don't think I ever want to know. On top of that leotards and point shoes. They clearly loved me very much.